listen, we didn't leave you here, but somebody did. Because you're weak. It's true. We're weak. No! Yeah. Nobody wants us, do they? Yeah. Hey, I'm the final anomaly, and today we take this quote unquote weak archetype and we show the wrath that they're capable of in this Legend Anthology Festival. An engine that fills the field, fills your hand, and pops the opponent's board. Summon the XYZ Zords, go into the Megazord, and then bring out the Super Megazord. Banish your opponent's entire field and grave so that they can't play the game. You say Ojamas are weak. Let me reintroduce you to Ojamas because they are disgusting. Alrighty guys, this duel was actually a treat. So I went in and I actually grabbed my Ojama Numeron deck. I did have to fix it up because a lot of the cards were banned and then the Numeron engine just wasn't working because they did take out one of the Numerons. But this is a take on the Numeron Ojama deck. Anyways, guys, just check it out. This definitely is a treat. Um, we do just about everything Ojamas can do in this match. So anyways, this is a going second deck. They did opt for us to go first, so all we could do is set the Ojama Blue and pass. I wasn't too scared of the OTK. Now, I know... Um, decks like galaxy eyes there are certain decks that can otk but i wasn't too terribly worried um, anyways it's plunder patrol so he goes he attacks and he sets the entire combo in motion guys ojama blue we're gonna go ahead and search uh Oja match and i believe delta Her no Oja Oja simulation so we search Oja match and Oja simulation here he goes ahead and sets two and so the plan is i want to do delta hurricane um but at the same time i'm gonna go for i want to try to otk we do have uh, certain cards in here that can give us some pretty good power. For example, the uh, Ronin Raccoons uh, can definitely give us some power. And then we have some other options as well. Anyways, we go ahead and activate this. Go ahead and send Oja match so we get the three. Search Ojama Blue, search Ojama, I mean, search uh, Arm Dragon. Then we're going to get the three Ojamas. And here, guys, we have plays for days. I mean, we can link, we can. Um, we can go with Jama Blue combo, but anyways, I want to go ahead and I want to uh, I want to start linking and going through some plays here. Anyways, he does negate Ojama Red's effect, so he does kind of put a dent in our plans. But we still got the Ojama Blue combo in our back in our uh, in our back pocket. He activates this, bringing out the Plunder Patrol card. That's fine. We're gonna cap, uh, crash with Ojama Blue here. We're gonna search, I believe, uh, Oja Match and another Oja Simulator uh, Delta Hurricane. So here we still have plans because we can do Ojama Red again. We do have two Ojama Reds in the deck. There it is. So we get Ojama Red. We go ahead and go pile Arm Dragon here. Normal summon Ojama Red. Activate Ojama Red's effect. A special summon the three Ojamas. And then we go Delta Hurricane on him. Man just got, to del got Delta Hurricane. Anyways, he activates this. I guess he gets, he gets to do something. Oh, but it, it doesn't matter. They all get destroyed. Anyways, he goes ahead and activates this, bringing this out of the deck. Then we go ahead and go into Skull Dread. We do want to search the other Oja Simulation with Skull Dread, and the odds are actually pretty good. There's two of them in a 23 card deck. We're looking good. Anyway, Special Summon Power Arm Dragon, send level 3. Um, the plan is to go to level 7 so we can get Arm Dragon level 10. But then I realized, you know what? I think he can summon one more negate. Like I said, Plunder Patrol uh, is pretty good at summoning negates. And so um, I thought, all right, well, if worst case, we probably will end up going into access code here. But I still bring the Arm Dragon level seven just for the flex and for the nostalgia. And then we're going to go, we're going to cheat him out with Skull Dread's effect. And then we're going to go ahead and special summon Arm Dragon level 10 here. And here's where I decide, all right, you know what? Probably best bet just to go to access code here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and activate access code's effect and try to pop the monster on the board. But he ends up actually playing a hand trap that saves him here. Um, so DD Crow, so I don't have the material uh, to to get rid of unless I want to get rid of uh, Access code, but anyways, we go to simulation. We're gonna uh, banish the three vanilla Ojamas bring out the X Y Z pieces Go ahead and do Oja simulation again. Then we're gonna go ahead and VW tiger catapult pieces And so guys, you know where this is heading. We got the recipe X Y Z coming out We're gonna go ahead and do this tiger catapult gonna go ahead and activate this to pop that that way it triggers his effect he's gonna go ahead and special summon his monster 
And so I'm thinking, you know what? We got to find a way here because we don't want him negating anything important or popping anything important. So I go ahead and bring out um, VWXYZ Dragon Catapult. And to be honest, I don't even really know this guy's effect. Uh, summon by banishing both cards once per turn. You can target one card your opponent controls. Banish that target. Okay. Nothing to... to uh... Anyways, we go ahead and activate access code here so that we can go ahead and pop that. Then we're going to go ahead and do this and this, guys. And we are bringing out our boss monster, Arm Dragon Catapult Cannon. GG's easy, guys. Look at that. Anyways, we go ahead and just pass turn. We go ahead and set this. In case he's got something to destroy it, we can keep him saved with Ojama Pajama. Go ahead and do this to draw a card just to see what it is we get. We get Ojama Black and then we pass turn here. And this is pretty much GG's. We immediately activate, um, or don't, not immediately. I don't think, yeah, we do. We immediately activate this effect. That way, those all get banished. And now he is unable to use cards with their name in the title. Uh, once per turn during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish one card from your deck or extra deck face up. Banish all cards your opponent controls and in their graveyard. Uh, and then it says, um, by banishing both cards, uh, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects with the same name as any banished cards. So he can activate any copies of any of these cards. Anyways, Ojama Pajama is going to keep us safe. He just passed his turn. So we decided we're going for game here. Go ahead and draw the Oja match. We're going to go ahead. I think we have Ojama Duel in the graveyard. Yes, we do. We're going to go ahead and go Ronin Raccoon here for exactly 8,000 life points. So we go Ronin Raccoon. Ronin Raccoon is going to go ahead and power us up. Uh, get us a token of 3,500. And then, guys, we have exactly 8,000 life points here. Ojamas are just too powerful. GG's to the opponent, guys. Delta Hurricane. Catapult Cannon. Tell me this is not an anime duel. Alrighty, we get to go second here. We got the Ojama Blue like we want. Anyways, I think we're facing off against Predaplant. I did not... I don't, I don't... I didn't look at the loner decks. I didn't even have a chance to look at the loner decks at the time of this video. So I don't know what the loner decks are. But I did not expect Predaplant. Anyways, he, do, he actually sets up a really great board. Again, guys, if you think, well, you don't have any negates. Well, Jumbo Blue got the bricks. Guys, they don't set up a negate heavy board in this event. There's not a lot going on. I mean, he can negate a special summon. He can, after what he does here, he can negate an effect on the board. But you can't negate Ojama Blue because once he's destroyed, the effect pops off. So, um, anyways, he does all these plays here. He's got a pretty decent board at the end of it all. I mean, he's got he's got a monster negate. He's got a special summon negate. He's got a face down card. Um, but none of this affects Ojama Blue here. None of this, unless that face down card is like a mirror force or something. So, anyways, we just normal summon Ojama Blue. We attack into the Predator Plant here. We go ahead and uh, start the Ojama Blue combo. We go Oja Match. We go Oja Magic. Go ahead and activate this, send Oja Magic. And guys, we don't worry about no hand traps, nothing. And so anyways, we go ahead and pile Arm Dragon, Ojama Blue here. Go ahead and special, I mean, normal summon Ojama Blue. We're going to get our three Vanillas from the deck. We're going to go ahead and continue on the combo here. I think we go Delta Hurricane again here. Oja Match, yeah, I think we're going to go, no, we don't go. Yeah, we do go Delta Hurricane again here. Oja Simulation, go ahead and do Oja Match, sending Black, bringing out Ojama Red. Normal summoning Ojama Red, and then the three Vanillas with that. Anyways, I forgot he is able to negate Ojama Red, which is fine. The negate is over. So we're going to go Oja Simulation here. Go ahead and bring out XYZ. Going to go ahead and special summon Pal Arm Dragon. Going to go ahead and draw our card. We get another Delta Hurricane, so just fodder at this point. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and draw another card. Let's see what it is we draw, and we get Ojama Pajama. So anyways, we do this to go ahead and bring out level 7. Go ahead and do this, and we go ahead and go into Sora Yuja. The reason I did Sora Yuja is because I wanted him to negate the special summon, is what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to stop the special summon, because I didn't want him doing it to XYZ, because XYZ is going to pop the board now. And so anyways, ZYX for XYZ. Go ahead, and now we pop the board. He activates this, uh, being able to bring out another Predator Plant, guys. And this one's actually pretty neat here. Uh, so he is able to negate, in effect... I believe, yeah, so we activate Ojama Pajama, he does negate it, which, guys, good for him, because I was going to bring back all three Vanillas again, with Ojama Pajama's effect, I was going to bring back uh, uh, green, yellow, and black, and then just use Delta Hurricane on him, so either way, guys, we had several ways of going Delta Hurricane here, and he was able to stop every single one, but with Ojama Pajama's effect, we were going to bring back the three Vanillas, and then Delta Hurricane him, anyways, we go ahead and start just popping away here, 
and at this point he's gonna be hopeless he brings this back we go ahead and just pop it again and then we go ahead and just pop everything and I think at this point he just surrenders because there's absolutely nothing he can do here yeah GG's to the opponent guys the Megazord is too strong alrighty guys so this match here uh, very very lackluster but you know what it's his fault for playing this ridiculous deck like that's his fault right like he's trying to hit me up with the burn deck oh burn deck on this event i don't even see how that's possible right like i'm thinking no way he's gonna burn me so anyways we get all the jama black nothing big here we just normal summon x head cannon i'm already thinking this deck's ridiculous we're just gonna win it's just an auto win here uh because he's he's playing this I mean, I, I saw this card here, this Ukazi. I saw Ukazi, I thought, all right, GG's, like GG's. Anyways, uh, this is, I wanted to make sure I included this match because we did brick here, but guys, that's his fault for playing that deck. Like, that, that's not my fault. Anyways, we go ahead and activate this, bring out Ojama Red. We do not normal summon him. We want to get the vanillas out of the, de out of the deck here. And so then we'll go to normal summon Ojama Red. Go ahead normal summon ojama red being able to special summon the three vanillas here we're gonna go into sora yuja because we want to go ahead and see what we can draw and we don't get very much we go ahead and do this then we're able to go ahead and draw here and guys he hits us with the mirror force oh my goodness all right you know what it, that's anime duel right there for you baby so anyways that's fine nothing huge we go ahead and set the ojama pajama i'm not worried still 1500 life points he's got one card in his hand i don't think he's got any monsters and then he ends up having a monster but nothing major here i'm actually surprised i'm curious why he didn't attack with them anyways he didn't attack with them i don't know why uh we go ahead and do this and then since we sent ojama red i think we sent ojama duo right was that what we sent earlier anyways we go ahead and activate this do this bringing out ojama red again bringing out arm dragon we're gonna go ahead and do arm dragon this time because we want to go for arm dragon level 10 so we go ahead and bring out arm dragon level 5 arm dragon level 7 and then arm dragon level 10 baby he activates this uh he's able to do some burn damage here we're burned a little more we go ahead and do this because we're going into the megazord guys xyz dragon cannon go ahead and bring out the pieces go ahead and activate this just to draw a card so we have the fodder for the discard fodder for xyz go ahead and do this I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and destroy that because time lord's going back into the deck anyways and guys that's ggs there's nothing he's gonna be able to do here ojama pajama is gonna keep even if he had like a raigeki or dark hole ojama pajama is gonna keep us safe but he's got the lava golem i don't remember lava golem in anime somebody guys let me know in the comment section you when, when was lava golem played Anyways, he does Lava Golem us, but I'm not worried here. We go ahead and do Ojama Duo, send Ojama Duo, and then we'll have game here. Uh, so we do lose a thousand life points, but we get game. Uh, we're able to then, uh, we're able to put him in attack mode. And guys, we're going for Ronin Raccoon here. Gonna go ahead and do this, send this. We're just gonna go plus, 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 plus. That's all Ojamas do, y'all. Uh, definitely a, a, a really nice engine. Oh, we don't go. Okay, so what I did here actually is I activated Ojama Duo after because I realized I may be short on Ojamas in the deck. And so I needed to stop Ojama, Oja Magic's effect because I needed the two monsters in the grave to get Ronin Raccoon so that we can go for game here. And anyways, he disconnects the rage quit. That's his fault for using oh, oh, Kazi. And y'all, the last match of the video, this probably displays the true power of Ojamas here. Here y'all go, guys. We draw our amazing hand here. The opponent feels the power and says, no, thank you. GG's. Guys, that's the power of Ojamas. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will put the deck profile in the description down below as well as link the past Ojama video and probably the last ABC Therian video. Guys, go check that out. But anyways, Ojamas for the festival. Let me know if you guys are going to use the deck. Let me know what you guys think. It's, it's extremely fun. It's extremely fun. We get to use fun cards. And the event's rather easy. Anyways, y'all like the video, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.